హలో ఫ్రెండ్స్ గుడ్ మార్నింగ్ దిస్ ఈజ్ యువర్ లక్ష్మీపతి వెల్కమ్ టు అవర్ ఛానల్ ఏఎల్పి టాక్ జనరల్ అండ్ ఎలక్ట్రికల్ ఎక్స్పెక్ట్స్ టుడేస్ టాపిక్ ఈజ్ ఇన్ ది బ్యానర్ ఆఫ్ ట్రాన్స్ఫార్మర్ బేసిక్ కోర్స్ ఐ కేమ్ అప్ విత్ వన్ మోర్ టాపిక్ హౌ టు సైజ్ ట్రాన్స్ఫార్మర్స్ ఫర్ సోలార్ ఇండస్ట్రీ ఐఎమ్ నాట్ గోయింగ్ ఇన్ డీటెయిల్ ఐఎమ్ జస్ట్ టచ్చింగ్ అప్ వెరీ బేసిక్ ఫ్యూ థింగ్స్ ఫర్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ సే వన్ ఆఫ్ ది ప్రొడ్యూసర్ ఫర్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ వన్ ఆఫ్ ది డెవలపర్ he has some money he wants to uh, build a solar power plant uh, so he has some huge amount with him uh, so he is approaching any technical agency or consultancies like that so they they are going to estimate it uh, uh, estimate the plant size land size everything all the components everything so that they can they can come to a conclusion right how much cost is coming so in that case what they what they will do solar panels are important that's true apart from that transformers are a big uh, component in the solar industry so how to choose uh, transformers properly uh, very good size of transformers uh, for example say this is a 1 megawatt power plant solar plant capacity is uh, they are able to generate 1 megawatt so what should be the transformer size is this uh, 1 megawatt no it's not equal to 1 megawatt it, it is it lesser than 1 megawatt is this uh, 0.9 or i mean transformer size generally it will be in kva not in uh, kilowatts or megawatts like that yes is it uh, 900 kva no it will be more how much it will be greater than 1000 kva how much then it again depends uh, why depends means uh, there are so many parameters to be taken care all solar industry uh, uh, based on uh, works based on sine curve whatever sine curve is there based on that it will work in morning morning the sun rays are less so the generation may be less the sun rays will keep on increase like that uh, generation keep on increase it will reach peak and it will it, it is parabolic uh, like downside parabolic structure so what happens in the afternoon very peak say for example 12 to 2 or 3 o'clock like that we will see very peak in supply so what is that peak uh, at that time we have very good, much load we can say so how to size a transformer for this only peak load how to size it if you take care of only peak load only uh, say for example uh, it is a 5mv transformer that 5mv transformer will be able to cater only those 2 hours 5mv if it is rated for that then what about remaining rating remaining uh, period of the day remaining period of the day it is very less very less means uh, it may be catering 2mva 3.5 mea for mea like that so it is under utilization of transformer if we take 5 mea yeah it is a uh, utilization for only those two periods one more case if we take 4 mea for 5 mea, uh, 5 megawatt plant then what is the case only those two hours it is overloaded remaining time it is uh, like almost the uh, average load may be same morning may be 3 3 mea 4 mea 4.5 mea like that it the whatever a base load the entire average is there that may be utilizing but during peak load it may be over utilizing what happens if in peak load when the transformer whatever it is there due to some technical issue it gets some glitches if it goes out means what happens entire power whatever we are generating that will goes out so there is a one good trick to choose a transformers how to choose a transformers there are some different uh, aspects uh, that may be with respect to cooling I mean the oil whatever oil we are using that may be with respect to design that may be with respect to some calculations whatever we will perform uh, these are not some different formula these formulas available in our uh, indian standards or iec standards whatever standards are there formulas we already have publicly available just go through those formulas just uh, try to uh, apply all the rules so that you will get to know what is the best to you if you want to know if you want uh, any further details about this uh, just comment in youtube section so that i am ready to help you i am ready to make uh, videos on those transformers yeah some people asked me uh, how to size the uh, transformers multi windings uh, how why different windings are there like that for example just uh, to take to take this i am telling one thing uh, say you have 1000 megawatt power plant so thousand, sorry 100 megawatt power plant so 100 megawatt power plant so you are planning with 5 uh, mea transformers for example 5 mea transformers means 
20 for 25 is 100 so 20 number of 5 mA transformers if you purchase then we can able to generate 100 mA that's it right yeah up to that it's clear so 5 mA means how much current will be there inverter whatever uh, voltage is there inverter output it may vary from some 300 volts to some uh, 800 or sometimes uh, 1200 volts like that so based on their inverter design and all the voltage will vary whatever voltage rated voltage is there that may be any value in this range so if say for example if it is 300 voltage then what is the current it is too much high it may be 4000 5000 amps like that if you keep 6000 7000 amps is it possible to design a transformer yes it is possible but it is very very complicated it's very risky also to go with a very huge amp 6000 amps so what they will do they will simply divide the transformer divide the means uh, they will ask for uh, two L different LVs so that it, uh, dealing with uh, that also diff easy instead of 6000 amp now we have to deal with only 3000 amp say instead of uh, 5000 amp now 5000 kVA now what we will do 2005 2.5 me upper 2.5 me lower uh, like that we will do some customers uh, will go for uh, 7.5 mA, they will place a 2.5, 2.5, 2.5. Some will go for 10 mA, they will place for uh, 4, 2.5 mA. Yeah, for many more details, uh, subscribe to my channel. I hope you enjoy this. Thank you. Stay connected. Bye-bye.